Didn't expect to run into you here. Oh, hey, Thumb. What are you doing here? And what are you reading? Are those... Sachin's notes? Yes. I came across his profile while I was organizing some documents and became interested in his research. If it wasn't for that, I never would have agreed to being a commentator. I had a hunch after seeing the fragment of his mind, and sure enough, I came here and found his research. Wait! So, you've read it already? Are you alright? How do you feel? I think you may have misunderstood something. The reason Sachin chose that architect to inherit his research was that only he could really empathize with both the calamity and the humanity that these notes seek to convey. Only one who resonates with these sentiments would suffer and begin to think of history as bleak, the present as perplexing, and the future as pessimistic. Empathy is a double-edged sword. Clearly, I am not the same sort of person as Sachin was. Empaths have many friends, and their wide social circle comes with certain societal advantages, but this also makes it hard for them to achieve their goals. Why's that? All important things in life involve other people. As such, it's extremely difficult to live a life that causes no harm whatsoever to others. If you really want to achieve your goals, you have to be prepared to make enemies along the way. Not everyone can deal with that reality. And that reality is like the material here. Objective, heavy, negative. But, at the end of the day, for all these experiment results and conclusions, it's just one person's perspective. Sachin's. So, what are your thoughts now that you've read it? As a scholar, Sachin was without a doubt a genius. He laid the blame for the darkness and looked extensively with reliable results and drew logical conclusions. In that sense, one might say his views were correct. So, people are bad? And things can only ever get worse? All of that's true? That is not a question for me to answer. Someone else will arrive shortly. You can ask them instead. All I will say is that the world is not built on correctness alone. Sometimes, being correct means nothing at all. Lofty ideals may provide no defense at all against nihilism, but perhaps little decisions can. By their own choice, the idealist seeks to bring happiness to all while denying themselves the same. Thus, they shall never reach even the borders of truth until they wipe away the ignorance that blinds them. I've never been able to agree with certain philosophies. Even Sachin himself struggled to comprehend the notion of sacrificing oneself for the greater good. But sadly, all viewpoints will find their supporters, and the way we see the world largely decides our fates. All right then, I got what I came for. These research materials are yours to look after. I'll be off. Wait, so you came here just to read this stuff? You missed out on a big get-together, you know. A uh, get-together? Ah, yes, that makes sense. This is a good opportunity for that sort of thing. Guess what? Kaveh treated everyone this time. Then I'm sure he packed up the leftovers for me. See ya. And there he goes. Well, it seems like he really wasn't affected by this research. He said that someone else would answer our questions. Who do you think that'll be?